And the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Nabas, on Monday inaugurated the House Committee on the Review of the 1999 Constitution. Members of the diplomatic community, civil society groups, development partners and members of the federal and state legislators, including past deputy speakers, were all present at the epoch-making event. The Constitution Review exercise has become a yearly ritual in the annals of the history of successive legislative houses and the 10th Legislative Assembly is not left out with the Speaker today inaugurating 47 members of the House Committee in Abuja on Monday. Honorable Bass emphasized the need to address critical demands that has continued to dominate national discourse, such as the issues surrounding the call for the devolution of powers, state policing, the role of traditional rulers in governance, as well as the fiscal federalism and local government autonomy, amongst others. This larger process will allow us to promote innovative solutions, engage in meaningful experimentation, and gather concrete data and facts to inform our decisions. Also, this approach ensures that reforms are not only reflected, but also adapted to the unique needs and challenges of our great nation. Through this travel and considered process, we can achieve sustainable and impactful changes for the good of our country and all Nigerians. Speaking in similar vein, the Deputy Speaker, Right Honorable Benjamin Kalu, who is also Chairman of the House Committee on Constitution Review, promised that the new constitution will be ready for presidential assent in the next 24 months. The committee also received goodwill messages from dignitaries who urged the committee to emphasize the importance of promoting unity, inclusivity and national cohesion in the reform process. I call upon every one of you to actively participate in the constitutional reform process, to lend your voices, ideas, and expertise to craft a constitution that reflects the values and aspirations of all Nigerians. As John Marshall, the one-time American Secretary of State, once said, the people made the constitution, and the people can unmake it. It is the creature of their will and lives by their will. However, Nigerians have been advised to actively participate in the reform process either through public consultation, town hall meetings, online, or any means of employment available to them. We are reminded of the profound responsibility that rests upon our shoulders as legislators of the people. This committee's task is not just a matter of legal review, but is a duty to enhance the framework that governs our collective aspirations, rights, and duties as citizens of this great country. It is, an, it is an important opportunity to enforce the pillars of democracy, justice, and empathy that our nation stands on. We will also work studiously and expeditiously to ratify the documents once they are passed down to the states by the National Assembly. I also would like to especially commend um, this particular committee for taking a proactive measure of starting this um, constitutional review in such manner in which they have also incorporated the state actors, be it the conference of the speakers of state legislatures and also the executive arm of, um, of government and the sub-national level. How we can harness the effectiveness and resource that women possess as about equal number of population. So it is something that the National Assembly must consider. Your Excellency Deputy Senate President, Your Excellency uh, the Deputy Speaker, how we can make special constitutional provisions allow for greater representation of women in elected offices proportionate to Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.